Hey everybody on YouTube, how you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Got some things here, I got some stuff. Which brings me to a new title series. That's what I think I'm gonna start calling this. Instead of like Mail Call Monday, Knife Makers Monday, whatever it would be, Mail Call Monday is what I started. But this is stuff, a new series. And this is episode one, so come on in the shop. I got stuff to show you. I'm thinking about calling it stuff simply because a lot of the things that I show you are not knife, re you know, circulating. It doesn't rely on knives. It doesn't rely on the shop per se. It's just stuff. Stuff I like to share with you guys. Stuff I think is interesting. Uh, you know, and I'm going to call it stuff. So this is stuff one. Episode one. I'm going to lower you here a little bit more. Now some stuff I have here is, oh, I'm gonna close the shop door real quick. Okay, some stuff is knife related or at least for the shop here. Uh, one thing is, is I am working on a leather sheath and I ran out of barge. This stuff is really cool. This, I like this stuff. If you guys are getting into knife making and leather and stuff like that, come on, camera, focus on it. There you go. Uh, barge, really good. They make it in a can, but I prefer a little, for a little bit of leather I do, I prefer these, they work a lot better. And I've got a leather sheath here I'm working on, and I've got the welt to uh, glue in, so I have that. I put that to the side. Oh yeah, I got a knife going on here. This is a Coyote Works knife. Look at that. That is cool. That's a uh, oh look at the camera there. So Coyote Works knife. There we go. And uh, it's uh, dyed stabilized burled maple. Uh, so next thing is stuff. Is I did a video a little while ago, and I recently did this i did this i picked up this i talk about this a little bit let me adjust my belt now um i i've carried for over 20 years now uh, as you know many of you guys have mentioned it before in the past being in law enforcement um carrying carrying conceal was a pretty much a, a staple of my life my existence as well as uh you know, even now off you know now that i'm not law enforcement anymore i still carry um i've always carried in a waistband i prefer it over everything else and I'm always an independent kind of guy like that in the waistband. And I've had a, a Mitch Rosen for over 20 years. I wore my Glock 19. And I had a couple of off brands, either Galco or Bianchi made some with a thinner material and uh, a plastic hook. And the Mitch Rosen, I went back to his website and he had one for the Smith & Wesson uh, M&P, the 2.0 M&P, but for a four inch. And as you guys know, uh, when Tyler and I went to, the, uh, went to the range a while back, I got that 3.6 when I went over at MKR. And so he didn't have that. So I went ahead and I was inspired by Mitch's designs and I made myself one. And I did a video on that. This is this is it right here. And uh, I'll leave a link up above here someplace. Uh, as you guys are watching, you, you can check that one out too. It wasn't much, uh, but really cool. Uh, I do like this a lot. It's a really nice click fit and gun uh, to making this. It's still holding. It's still retaining. As you guys can see, it's still retaining the pistol. Uh, so. But the reason why I got this is I am going to adjust you guys a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and make this safe because what I want to show you guys is the example of um, weapon light systems. And that's part of our stuff today, our series. So we're clear. We're all good to go. And um, I have Olights, the Valkyrie, the Mini. I have a couple of those for my Glock 19s. They fit great. That's a 4-inch barrel. And uh, I have one of those really old uh, uh, stream lights from back in the um, probably 2002, 2003, something like that. It was really big, and that's an incandescent light bulb. Well, the, uh, um, the Valkyrie won't fit on these. The 2.0 won't fit on this. So I went and I went over to MKR, and they had the, uh, um, I want to say it was Surefire. Uh, I forgot the name of it. I'll put it in here as I'm talking or a picture of it. But again, it fit. It fit, but it sticks out a little bit far, meaning the uh, the rail part actually stuck out about a quarter inch or so. Uh, I didn't necessarily care if the light stuck out, but the rail actually hung out here and it actually didn't attach properly on the little rail that they give you for the 3.6. And I'm not a big weapon light person. I don't wear it all the time for that. Like I said, this is just standard leather. It doesn't have it. But when at, at home, at night, in the evening, um, I could put the weapon light on when I went to go to bed and I got a light to search and do all the things I need to do. We do get coyotes here. I mentioned that in the past in the previous videos. And uh, uh, I actually had a neighbor down the road from us uh, a little while back. He had gotten broken into. 
uh, their their trucks and all that other stuff had all their cattle released. But anyhow, so uh, the stream fire didn't work or the surefire didn't work of that. So uh, my buddy Tyler actually was the one that said that uh, Tyler and Sean over at MKR said, look up the TLR seven by Streamlight, and that's on a laser, and I didn't want that. I didn't want that. But I went and I found this TLR eight, and what I did is I jumped online. And what was really cool is Streamlight actually shows you, they list what weapons the light would work on. So um, I figured I'd unbox it with you guys and show you what it looks like. So let me bring you in closer. Now for this little occasion, this festive, this festive occasion here. Oh, I gotta flip you guys around there. Okay, they said I need a little screwdriver here. Yeah, you need like a little screwdriver for this part right here. But what's nice is, uh, the one thing I learned is, um, the battery is actually back here behind the bezel of the uh, flashlight the bulb right here it's a little led uh 500 lumens so it's supposed to be packing a punch uh it says uh face cap face cap titan run oh okay that's right uh they're giving you directions on this right here and what they're doing is they're telling you to actually if you want to put this if you're carrying this or putting it in luggage or something um and you're concerned about it coming on inadvertently you actually can turn the tail cap and disc and uh, uh shut it off so it's an empty, they give you a little uh, one, two, three battery. And I believe it is just like that. It's, uh, oh, nope, it's it's the positive side, the little little nipple part right there goes down into it. They show you a nice little picture right there. So it's kind of it's kind of uh, uh, knife maker proof, Marine Corps proof there. So um, yeah, so you turn this, you turn, put this sec, you put this back on, and when you tighten it all the way, you'll be able to turn it on. Oh yeah, look at that. And you shut it off. Now, if you turn the cap slightly, it's got like a, uh, it's not a click, but you can feel it. It's a, a positive type feel where uh, you grab this and as you turn it, it's right there. It's, you can feel it snug and then it loosens slightly and then it gets snug again. It's this happy medium that when now, the light won't come on. See, it won't come on inadvertently if you're storing it or doing stuff or traveling and you got it put away someplace. So you turn this bezel back up that way again, turn it back on. They give you a little arrow right here. Hopefully it'll come through on camera. You'll see that little arrow right there. And now it comes back on again. That is slick. So to get it on my uh, uh, Smith & Wesson, I'm gonna have to loosen this up. And I'm gonna have to slide that on. Oh, that is so cool. Oh man, that I am so happy with. That is amazing. Tighten it down really good, nice and snug. Oh, yeah, look at that. That Now that's nice. Now what I mean about it is, I use a screwdriver here. The rail part that's right here actually stuck out and it, it came out as far as this bezel is right now on the gun. And then the flashlight came out further. And I didn't like that. I don't mind if the light comes out a little bit, but I didn't want the light so far out and then the rail connector the attachment point actually sticks out, so you don't have 100% on the on your pistol's rail. But that is cool. I mean, look at how that's that's nice. That's um, get a contrasting. That's my shirt there. That is nice. That fits really good. You can see its slimline profile there. Look at that. There you go. That is nice. Look at that. That is so good. I've been a big Streamlight fan. One of my first uh, lights I ever got, a little rubberized handheld weapon light kind of thing you'd hold, tactical light, was a little rubberized one by Streamlight. That's good. I mean, it, my, it's just hitting my finger right there. You can see that. I wish the camera would stop focusing on my face. My ugly mug. See, it just gets it right there. So, I mean, if I was indexing, you know, I, I'm not going to, I can, I could just hit it. But what's really nice is when I'm holding, I got out my thumb. I like it. You know, you know, again, you're not going to get any, uh, um, I'm not going to be giving you tactical lessons here on, on the channel. That's not what I do here. But that is slick. That is a really cool thing. I like that. Um, some details and things. Oh, they give you base. I forgot about these. They give you these base plates too. Um, sorry about that. So you see this little part right here. That's like a stop. So when you go to slide your firearm on, it hits that. It stops right there and it locks in place. Okay. You have to have one of these on there for it to mount. You can't mount this without one of those. You gotta have a key. Um, so you put that on there and it stops right there and it allows this to clamp together. This one right here on this side, it'll clamp tight and it'll hold it on there. Now as you can see, it won't go any further on my handgun because it hits the handguard or the trigger guard right there, see? So that works perfectly and it doesn't stick out very far. Well, 
some of these are shorter. See, this one's shorter than that one. You see how it sits inside there? Well, that's because it goes like this. So if that screw was to go through here, you see where that stop is now? You see where that is now? That means it will stop and this flashlight will be sticking out further in front of my handgun. That means the, bear, the, the light of the bezel will be sticking out further. So what I want is I want it to go as further back into the handgun as possible, like this. I want it to go back this way. If I were to put that one on, then this bezel would lock in place, but it'd be back here. It would be all the way out like this, and some of them even a little bit further. So you don't want that. You want it to be all the way here, and that gets 100%. As you can see, that clamp is going to be 100% purchased on the rail. See that? I'm liking it. It feels good. It's going to work really nice. I think that's really good, man. That's bright, though. Oi. That is bright. Yeah. Very pleased with it. Not very heavy at all. I don't know the details of this. Here we go. Let's see. We got that's 2.4 ounces. Uses one three volt lithium battery. It's all aluminum. A little bit of plastic and rubber on there. Ambidextrous, safe off feature. That's that part where you turn the bezel and then it won't activate. Uh, key kit, uh, so it'll fit a wide variety of weapons. Uh, fast and safe. IPX7 waterproof. 500 lumens, one and a half hour long runtime. Oh, and it has a strobe. So I don't like strobes. I don't like strobes, and it hasn't been active. It hasn't turned on. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need a strobe. I'm not. I don't care for the strobes. So uh, good, good, good. Awesome. Well, guys, hey, there it is. There is all uh, very long drawn out stuff. Episode one. Hopefully you got another, I got another box here, but that's a different video. <laughs> Hopefully you guys had a good one. Hopefully everything's good. Hopefully, yeah, let me know. Stuff, we're going to work out okay for you guys. Think it's going to be nice. Stuff's going to be a good video series. Hopefully it is. I'm not changing it again. <laughs> you all have a good one. Take it easy. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. See you in the next video. Bye.